Hi guys, today I want to show you a book called Shadow Magic Compendium by Raven Digitalis. Exploring darker aspects of magical spirituality. There's nourishment to be found in the shadows. This book is copyright 2008. Mine is a first edition, first printing. Here we have the definition of compendium. Well, there you go. The internal shadow. I have not read this book. I did begin reading it some years ago, but I didn't get it very far. This is the beginning chapter. Just glance through. Air shadow traits, fire shadow traits. Water, that's very interesting. What lies behind behavior? Magic for clinical change. Purging negative shadow, a ritual meditation. This is more of the meditation. Magical experience, the paradox beyond the veil. Achieving the magical, my bad, achieving the mystical state. He does speak about Jewish mysticism and the Kabbalah. The external shadow. Drawing down. Fasting and self-sacrifice. He covers a lot of different aspects about fasting. A lot of information about fasting. Vegetarian and veganism other types of fast and self-sacrifice. I'm sorry if this is blurry. This is a different phone than I normally use. He has a little section about sleep fast and fasting from society. Ritual sacrifice, a ceremony of silence. about sigils, more about sigils, divination, reading the signs, and here he has many different forms of divination listed. Then we're into chapter 3, the astral shadow. Astral projection and the etheric planes. Shamanic soul retrieval. Okay, retrieval and <laughs> ritual meditation. My bad. My brain's fried today. Dark animal guides and helpers. The spirit animal. 
the power animal, the totem animal, the darker creatures, the familiar. I am without a familiar at this time, which makes me sad. But when I am recovering, or should I say recovered, that will be my next goal. The next pages he lists some different familiars. Bats, cats, chameleons, crows, fox, owl, raven, snake, spider, vulture, wolf. And then discovering your spirit animal, a ritual meditation. Some people might really want to see this section, so. Show you as much as I can. I know you can't read all this. I'm just giving you a taste to see if this book might be something that you would like to add to your magical library. Spirit Guides. Calling on your Spirit Guides. And then we're at Chapter 4, The Shadow of Nature. Romancing the moon, that sounds beautiful. The dark moon. Celestial shadows, lunar and solar eclipses. There's a lot of correspondence in this book, which I can very much appreciate. Connecting to the Eclipse, a ritual meditation. Black Sun, the dark part of the solar year. Autumn, truly the season of the dark witch. Yes, it is. Halloween, honoring the other side. <laughs> the Day of the Dead. This book has a little bit of everything in it. Okay, this is fabulous. The Weird Sisters of Shakespeare's Macbeth. We all know this. Fire, burn, and cauldron bubble. It's breaking it down for you, what they say. That's great. And it gives you warnings about herbs. And we have quite a few herbs in the book. I say that, but there's two, four pages. Hemlock. Mandrake. Poppy. Mushrooms and rue, tobacco, mm. Solomon seal, Venus fly trap, ye old flying ointment. Witch's Flying Ointment, traditional recipe for historical interest only. Not actually marijuana. Poppy resin, yeah. That's really cool, though. The Shadow of Society. A Tainted World. Scrying the Jelly. That jelly 
Telly. I can't believe I said that. Y'all excuse me. Surely that says Telly. Yeah. Eh, television. Ha <laughs> ha. I said jelly. I guess you could scry on jelly if you wanted. Fantasy magic. A shadow side of the occult scene. Deconstructing the burning times. He does go into some history here. The Witch's Sabbath. I'm getting to the end of the book. Oh yes, we all know the verse. And we all know of this as well. It goes into the darker history of witchcraft as well. The Burning Times. Then we have the conclusion, the essence of shadow magic, blessed be. And we have the bibliography. I like the way the chapter pages are, they're black, that's cool, sorry about that. And it's a big bibliography, so that's good, too. This is the back of the book. Let me see if I can make it where you can see it. There we go. Only when it's dark enough can we see the stars. Like I say, I haven't read much in this book. I started on it, I think, in 2015. And, you know, for some reason I didn't finish. But... I am picking out books that I think I might want to read during my recovery process after my procedure on Thursday, and this might actually make it into the pile. I hope this video found you guys very happy and healthy, and I'll speak with you again very, very soon. Bye for now.